Are you looking for an easy, healthy dinner to prepare after work? I know it can be a struggle most nights, but in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to whip up a quick, tasty, and nutritious dinner in just 15 to 20 minutes with fresh veggies and some basic spices. Hello, I'm Farhad, and in this video, we'll be using two methods of cooking to prepare the same dish and compare the results. And then you'll find out which one would work the best for you. I'm using a medium size a cauliflower, uh, took in the, in the florets out, um, nice sizes. You want to keep them like the size like this. Uh, and then I have eight ounces of mushrooms. I have some basic, uh, other basic ingredients on like uh, paprika, some crushed red peppers, that's totally optional. Uh, four cloves of chopped garlic, some salt and pepper to taste, uh, chopped, some chopped uh, parsley, balsamic vinegar, and some olive oil. So as I mentioned, we're going to do this in two methods of uh, preparation, cooking. Uh, the first method is going to be uh, sautéing. So we're going to sauté, and the second one is going to be going to throw it in the oven. So same ingredients, same amount. Okay, I have some olive oil, virgin olive oil in the pan. So I'm going to start by sautéing the cauliflowers. Now keep in mind, if you, you can always use vegetable broth if you don't want to use olive oil. So that's one option. I have it on high, medium high right now. So I'm going to cook this for a minute or so. This whole thing really shouldn't take more than five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on it because things starting to splash around. <laughs> okay, we're in about 30 seconds or so. Okay, it's been a little over a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic in there. I'm going to turn it down so it won't burn the garlic. Oh, it smells great. I'm going to go and add the mushrooms and then mix them. So I'm going to add our balsamic vinegar. Toss everything. Now we're gonna turn it down as as low as we can. There, we just leave it like right. that. It's been about two and a half minutes. Everything's going well. All right, we're just gonna leave them like that for another minute or so. We wanna constantly mix them around. And so that steam in there uh, helps to cook them nicely and speed up the process a bit. Okay, we just passed a three minute mark. I'm going to add our seasoning, paprika, don't be afraid. And like I said, if you like some crushed red peppers, Mix well. We're going to put the lid back. Put it back on. So we want to cook the broccoli about 80%. If you watch my last video, um, making a cauliflower steak, uh, we want the cauliflower to be uh, a bit crunchy. So we don't want to overcook them. So nice crunch to it. So that's about 80%. As you can see, it looks amazing. Looks delicious. Okay, I'm turning it off because we're good here. Now, if you're not sure how 
how done it is you can do a, a, a use a fork so as you can see the fork is going in uh, you don't want it to go in easily it's perfect right now yeah the mushrooms are good yep yeah, everything's good so I'm gonna take it out but before I take this out I'm gonna put the uh, parsley on it there and there you are looking delicious and there you have it nothing to it um, I, I don't think anyone took five minutes so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the next method um, and I'm gonna show you how that works okay I dished it up as you can see I add the salt and pepper to it too and it's ready to go uh, looks delicious so um, this is the the way it looks when you saute it nice and brown um, and uh, it's perfectly done as well so uh, we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna bring a sheet tray and we're gonna start with the next method feel free to add more balsamic vinegar to it or adjust any ingredients um, I also recommend uh, you know if you like to uh, sometimes what I do I squeeze a half a lemon uh, so uh, that gives it a really nice taste as well so keep that in mind okay in this method what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna throw the cauliflower and mushrooms in a bowl with some olive oil and then we're gonna toss them in make sure they uh, get uh, nicely uh, coated with the oil um, and then see this one requires a little bit more oil to get a nice and nicely cold it okay so I think we're good here so um, now I'm gonna add the uh, <clears throat> garlic and then the balsamic vinegar and some paprika and then we're gonna mix them again together so about two three four five <laughs> dashes of paprika as much as you like there so what we're not going to add anything else to it until um, it, it comes out of the oven so then we add um, salt and pepper and um, <clears throat> our chopped parsley and our um, crushed red pepper so I'm going to throw this in a tray which I have right here with the parchment paper and then uh, I'm going to throw it in the oven at uh, 400 degrees at 10 minutes and then uh, we're gonna check it at 10 minutes and go from there there we go they're ready to go just to show you how they look and then we're gonna see uh, how they look when they come out okay as you can see I um, uh, pulled the mushroom cauliflower out of the oven it took about 15 minutes so um, they look good they're done about 80 uh, percent so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a bowl and add the uh, rest of the ingredients to it okay here's our comparison test so visually you really can't tell the difference but this one is the one I saute obviously I've been eating on it and it, you know it's kind of messed up because I've been you know moving around and eating it uh, but this one is the the one from the oven untouched so it really you really visually can't tell the difference the only difference is the timing this one took longer five minutes 15 minutes so um, that's that's the only difference um, you know in these two um, now this one you can like I said you can cook this without oil just with uh, a vegetable broth this one you have to add some oil to it because the oven would it gets dry in the oven so you definitely have to um, add some oil to that so um, there you have it that that was pretty much the comparison test Pairing mushrooms and cauliflower in a dish is a great idea because they complement each other both nutritionally and culinary. Together, they provide a rich combination of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They both are low in calorie but high in fiber, making the dish filling and satisfying without being heavy. They both are also versatile for different diets. This combo works great in vegan, low-carb, gluten-free, or keto dishes, appealing to a wide range of dietary preferences.
Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and leave me any comments or questions you may have. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, stay healthy and take care.